What's the excellent laborer's dad doing today? That's good. Anything good happening? <laughs> We're here just laboring away. How about you? Good. Nothing. And you're going to feel great once you're an excellent laborer too. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get your wire, you seen where I just dropped it right there on the floor, unpackage that bad boy and just start slinging outlets, no just kidding. But uh, what I like to do is try to run my outlets about six foot apart, and if you see here in the little fast video I got going on here, that's what I'm doing. So right here, when you run into a corner, sometimes uh, it's either hard to get around or it's just an obstacle to drill through. So your best bet is to just go up through the plates and then pull it around down to the outlet. As you notice here, my hammer is sideways. Whenever you have a tight space, I just use the side of my hammer. When I mentioned I pull 14 off the floor, now that's to the bottom of the receptacle, as you can see me doing here. Then I just nail that sucker in. Just nail top and bottom of each outlet. That's all there is to that. Okay, so when you get a new spool of wire, you'll want to cut the center of the plastic and pull from the center of the spool because that wrapper will actually keep it contained so it doesn't unravel while you're trying to work with it. So right here, when you drill up through the plates, like I mentioned earlier, you want to keep your drill bit right in the center of the plates so drywall screws can't come into the wire from either side. So what I'd like to do there is punch the back out using needle nose pliers before I ram the wire in it. This makes it a little easier. Some people just jam the wires at them until it pops out, but I just nail these plastic wire staples on and keep going.
know you can't read my tape, but when I do switches, I pull down 48 and 5 8 inch. That way, when the top piece of drywall gets hung on the wall, it just breaks right above the outlet. and makes it easier for the drywall man to cut it out. have multiple wires come into one box I try to stack them all on top of each other hold the staple and just tack it and if you get multiple wires they make a wire separator you can use takeaways from this video when you're just roughing in outlets and switches just try to keep your outlets no more than six foot apart and then run your switch boxes down from the ceiling 48 and 5 8 inch and run your outlets up from the floor 14 inches to the bottom of the outlet thanks for watching subscribe and like I'd appreciate it